All right, hey everybody, we're live here. Let me get this thing pulled up. Holy heck, I'm running late. All right, one second. Let me pull the window over here. Almost there. Let me get my glasses on so I can read what y'all are saying. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. Just rolled off the recliner where apparently I was in hibernation. Let me see here. Blackwood Blades. Hey, Rodney Pearson. Hey, Rick. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Nate. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Tojo. Woo. -hoo. Let me get through the list here. All right, John. Thank you for showing up. There's Chad. Welcome, sir. Let's see here. Rain Mayhem. Welcome, welcome. There's Eugene. Happy Thanksgiving to you, sir. JCB. Ooh, bacon jerky. All right, yeah. All right. So, we'll get this thing going. It's nothing real formal here. I really have nothing too much to show you guys. I was going to talk about the the raffle the piffle for the Demco. in fact let me find that and get out here for drooling purposes all right we all want to check this out can we see right here is it good can you see that good enough yeah all right let's check this out lay this out here so we can think about this Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start this Saturday. We're going to start this on a, on a raffle, and then there's going to be some other stuff that's going to go with it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to try to get some other things to put in with it. Just for, I know I've already went through this with a bunch of y'all, but I'm going to get some other prizes to go with it. So there'll be a bunch of different prizes to get people to fill this raffle up. And hopefully this will put us over the number what we need for PIF shipping or PIFMA shipping. Get all this dust off of here. And check that out real quick. So that's going to be Saturday that we'll start this. I'll, I'll put all the official rules up. I'll do a video to to explain everything and so there'll be an official video for this but what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna leave it open up for some YouTube people to win some slots in the piffle I'm going to pay I think I don't know how many I'm gonna do yet but I'm gonna pay for a number of slots just as kind of a giveaway and then I'm gonna leave it open for in just a few not very many because last time we did this it kind of it didn't work out too well as far as people getting in and getting the slots, but I'll talk to Doc and we'll figure out a good number for how many people can on the YouTube will be able to get on this. But most of this is going to be done through Facebook just because it's easier that way to keep it organized and to make sure that the slots get filled appropriately and that people aren't sending in money. What I might do for that too. It's hold off on the YouTube people. Anyways, I'll figure it out. I'm just talking to myself, kind of figuring it out as I go here. So, Rick, I'm not sure. It's going to be, you know, in the morning sometime, most likely. Yeah, pip slots are $250 each. They're four slots. So, there you go. Good luck with that. May the odds be in your favor. <laughs> All right, Marshall's already got 246. Oh, I gotta send out the number for that, hold on. Let's see here. Oh, all right, I won't, I won't mess with the action on your Demco any longer. Here, let me wipe off that blade for you. Yeah, it doesn't work that way, Blackwood. It's going to be kind of a randomizer thing. A randomized thing for the people on YouTube. 
and not people that have a channel it's like people that are our subs to this channel that may not want to do Facebook which is understandable a lot of people don't want to do Facebook <clears throat> no we're not going to do any pre-orders Tojo just to kind of keep it simple and and stuff let me see here let's see here Morning is when you sleep. It, it's not going to fill up that fast, Rick. There'll be some slots open. I imagine it's going to take a while. I'm going to have a bunch of slots. So, so there'll be slots open when you wake up for sure. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, Christopher. Thank you for showing up. Hey, Jason. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show. All right. MJ, for information PIF package sent today. Ooh, check my email for a heads up as to content. All right. I'll check that out. Yeah, that's exactly right, Marshall. Especially for me. Got to work out that. Just to make it a little bit simpler for the big dummy here. All right. Let me see. I got something in the mail today. Let me see. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't know if I'm supposed to say who has sent it. But I got it, so I'm going to show it to you. All right. You can't see who sent it, though, so let me close this up here. All right. So they sent in some toys and stuff. Well, first off, they sent in some toys. They said I could keep one. If you're listening, I'm keeping Donald. So Donald Duck will forever live over here on my desk. But I'll be sending out this one to somebody. All right, I'm gonna wait and show you the coolest thing they sent in a second. They sent some of these knives in for Piff. So this is gonna be super helpful. Check these out real quick. So they sent in these. Look at those. That's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of that, uh, that what is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I just woke out out of a coma here. What is the one from Case? The Sodbuster, kind of like a mini Sodbuster thing here. Get those put away. My name is Tommy. I like knives and stuffing. Yes. Hey, Maxwell Smart, welcome. Welcome. Hey, Pete. Pete Dollar, thank you for showing up, sir. Let's see, I miss you, buddy. That's Kingdom Hearts, Donald. Let me check that out. I always wanted to play Kingdom Hearts. Oh, sure enough. Oh, cool. I thought Kingdom Hearts would be a fun game. Maybe I have to go back and do that again. I bet I know who sent those in. Yeah, it's kind of obvious if you think about it. If, you, if you're paying attention, it's... <laughs> You probably know. All right. They sent this in as well. Yo, I thought I was the only one that collected Funkos. <clears throat> We're going to have to ask you to watch your language, Angie. Um, just uh, not. Oh, Funko. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. I know what you're talking about. I didn't know it was called a Funko, but I knew what you're talking about. All right. So here's the pin. A pin with a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to run out of ink before you run out of blood. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. So you're sitting there in your office taking notes. Somebody wants to get fresh. Stab them right in the hand. Yeah. Take that. Oh, they sent this. Let me see if I can reach over here. Not mess up everything. They sent me a really cool Hulk pen. Excellent. Now for the really cool thing they sent in. I mean, it's all really cool, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm scared to touch this thing because I haven't really looked into it yet. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> it's not just an ordinary flashlight, sir. This is a stun gun flashlight thing they sent in. Oh man, check that out. Isn't that cool? I'm so scared of this thing. I, want, I haven't touched a button yet. 
But look, see what's that? Stun gun. So yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. I can't wait to try that. I don't know what I'm gonna try it out on, but it's pretty cool. Hey, Sharp Edge, hola. Think a native day. Okay. Think a native. I'll find one. Randy, welcome. Ooh, apple pie. That sounds good. We're fixing to make some stuff here ourselves. Little cakes and pies. Cakes and pies. Cakes and pies. Mandarin turkey translates as fire chicken. The more you know. Oh, that's cool too. All right. Yeah, that could get you in trouble carrying a pin like that for sure. Be hard to explain. So what alcohol does... You know, I don't drink. I've been... be hard to believe, but I've never had a drink of alcohol in my life. And it started out as a religious thing, growing up really strict, and then it just kind of became something I just never really got into. So I don't drink at all. Try out my least favorite cat. Oh, that would, that would, yeah, I drink energy drinks. So there you go. I'm buzzing. In fact, I need one right now. Hold on a second. Get rid of this couch fog. Mm -hmm, yummy. Yeah, Maxwell Smart. I'm gathering some knives for my budget knives video. And I don't want to make it like all strictly Kubi right now. So I'm trying to dig into my bags and figure out the ones that are interesting. But I've been in such a big Kubi jam lately. I'm afraid it would turn to all Kubi all the time. Which is some really cool stuff coming out. But I don't want to do that. Have to return on usually has a key. Okay, I'll check it out, read the instructions, see if I can't find something right. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I bet John that would mess you up. <laughs> that would do it for sure. Oh, sweet potato pie. That sounds delicious, Bruce. Cakes and pies. <laughs> All right, very <Bird> shot. <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you know it. <laughs> All right. Josh sticks to Miami Whitefish. Yes, Miami Whitefish. I think I know what that is. Good for you, Tricky Zoran. Just see Double Line. Well, the thing is, I, I can see the allure of getting a buzz, but I think because of my personality, I'd be a really, like, no fun kind of drunk. You know, some people. You have all your different kinds of drunks. I think I would be like that depressed dude in the corner that just... <laughs> Nobody wanted to be around. Because I have kind of that... I don't know, like a melancholy attitude as it is. I just think it would amplify that. And then nobody... I'd have fewer friends than I have now, which would be really, really tough. So I'd be <laughs> telling you all my problems and just... Probably slobbering on you like... <laughs> And then at the end, like, we're such good friends. And it wouldn't work out well for anybody. So. Yes, Pete, I do want to check out the 640 for sure. I don't know. I got my vector in today. And I'm so happy. <clears throat> this is here. It is right here. Oh, man. I hope y'all got one of these. For the 1350. Holy heck. I got one of these way back when. I think it was in April. It said that I got my first one. And this was worth what I paid for in April. Which was 45 bucks. This thing's awesome. I, I think this might be my favorite Tangram. It has been. but Although I don't have that right handed. Rumble yet. So we'll see. But yeah. That was a good deal. Yeah, Kubi Slap. Oh, I talked to the Kubi folks today, and a bunch of y'all had asked about the shipping because they're having that Black Friday sale. And guys, I'm not getting any money or anything from Kubi. I'm just trying to help everybody here get some cool knives. 
So it's not anything like that. And I don't want y'all to think I'm a Kubi shill, but I was able to talk to them and they've been pretty open about different things. And they said they have warehouses in the United States where most of the new stuff comes from. So they said they send out the new stuff from the United States and some of their older, older stuff might be coming from, from China but or some other seas or some other countries kind of warehouse. They have them all over the world, they said, as far as warehouses in different countries. But they said a lot of it comes from the United States. And everything they've sent me, they sent me a tracking number and within two or three days... It's there. So, if y'all are wondering about getting your knives from Kubi and if it's on that slow boat from Gearbest land, I don't think it's going to be like that. Howdy, Dave. Welcome. Welcome back. Yeah, thirteen fifty. That was a good deal. Hey, Sue. 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 Do I owe you something, Sue? I think I do. Oh no. I thought I was all caught up, but I don't think I am now. Yeah, if I drank, I wouldn't have money. I'd have less money for knives, Randy. That's for sure. So. <clears throat> Let's see here. So, welcome, Sue. Let me know if I owe... I think I owe you a knife, don't I? Yeah, it will... I think, Pete, you'll be okay as far as it getting here. Oh, you're talking about the, the Tango. I'm sorry, the Vector. Yeah, yeah, Doc dropped the ball on that, Chad. I'd take it up with him for sure. Yeah, Birdshot, that was totally true. I held on to that thing for a long time. I think I stuck it in a mystery box when I was chasing something. And I regretted it as soon as I did. Because I just really liked the knife. And so now I got that one, and I'm getting the blue one coming in. So that will be pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, just, um, yeah, have <laughs> cakes and pies for sure. I'm just people drinking that. Oh, no, I'm not judging anybody that drinks. Nope, that's not what I was saying at all. I just know my personality and the, the, the smell of some alcohol and the taste is just, no, it's just not for me. I just don't see the benefits. And that's just for me. I'm not saying anybody is bad or anything I wasn't I hope that didn't come across as judgment I grew up judgmental for sure the way I was raised but I'm not I've kind of changed my ways about that they ship from quartermaster's warehouse oh yeah that's gonna be a problem <laughs> that's messed up now I get it <laughs> in Texas I see what you're saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, the rumble's pretty wicked looking. The Benchmade Barrage. I have not had a Benchmade Barrage. I, is that the one that's assisted? I think that's the assisted one, right? Oh, you know what? This is just a blank screen here. Let me get it something pretty to look at. Ooh. How about this monster? All right, we'll look at this. Ooh. Check that out. The Carruthers Behemoth Chopper. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, we all got that tank for thirteen fifty. Yeah, Birdshot gave us the heads up on that, so that was pretty awesome. And then somebody gave us the heads up on the coupon on top of that. Who was that? It was uh, Chuck 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 Chuck. I don't remember. I know. No, I remember. Hey, Peter B. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. I'll be looking for it. I appreciate it. Piff means weed. Is that what that means? I didn't Is piff another word for weed? I don't know. Let's see. The blue one was 30% off. Yes. But you couldn't get the coupon for the thirteen fifty on the blue one, just the black one. I think that I think that's what the deal was. I tried to, but I don't think it, that's what happened. That's what Enzo Azo 
Azo was the one that sent it in, I think. Yeah, not think. Yeah, that's who it was. Thanks, Chad. That's right. Chad gets high views from her, you know. <laughs> greetings. Hey, greetings, Edward. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's see. Oh, that's Spliff. There you go, Wandering Bear. That's right. Okay. And Kiff. I don't know what Kiff is. Yeah, Piff is supposed to stand for Pay It Forward. I hope I haven't been promoting weed this whole time. And that might be why so many people have signed up for Piff. <laughs> hey, man. This is where I sign up for Piff? Yeah, right there. There's the line. <laughs> There's 420 people on the list. All right, the new Kubi carbon fiber to put up. Have you ever seen the Viper Mega? I have one very close to the same knife. I haven't seen the Viper Mega. No, I haven't. Yeah, the the, the Kubi's pretty awesome. Let's see, bigger than the screen. Yeah, it's too big. I'm sorry, is that too big? I tried to. It's like the Obelisk for 2001. <laughs> All right, let me find something else. It's easier to look at. All right. I would put this ton gun out there, but I'm frightened inside. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. That's that. That's not any fun. I mean, it's fun, but it's not as exciting. All right, I'll think of something here in a second. Let me just catch up on the... Yeah, she does. She likes the expensive plates for sure. I gotta find out one to give her for Christmas. Yeah, man. Roll up a big piff. Bill Cosby created chill shots. <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through real quick. Just off the top of my head. Nate, I know it's gonna be kind of corny and cheesy, but I just wanna say some things I'm thankful for this year. I'm thankful for the channel and getting to meet a lot of friends and meet a lot of people that I would have normally met all over the country, all over the world. I was talking to a dude in South Africa today. Now, he wasn't through the channel, but it was just kind of interesting to talk to people, and I'm really thankful. And that's been the most fun about this thing is getting to meet and talk to all of you guys and ladies. So that, I'm thankful for that. I had some other things I'm thankful for, and I took a nap, and they went out my ear. Let's see what else. <clears throat> now, I'm thankful for everybody that's given in to the PIF and the people that donate for that, and I really appreciate that, and I appreciate all the help that I've gotten, and I really appreciate... Let me slide this over here. Can I do that? No, I can't. It's all attached. Hold on. Now I have to go to the backup. Well, I'm just going to say, I appreciate Birdshot, and I'm really thankful for them, and all the help, and cool stuff that's happened with them, and I'm thankful for all the other channels that have helped, and all the people that have helped, I'm super, I know he's not here, so I hope this doesn't embarrass him, but I'm thankful for Doc, and all the help he's given me. And all the other people, all the people I get to talk to, the people that listen to me whine and complain, I really appreciate it, and I think you know who you are. And you know what I'm thankful for? I'm thankful for the people that have wanted to talk to me, the people that needed somebody to speak to and and that trusted me enough to, to tell me what's going on. And, and I'm thankful that I got to meet, I know a lot of y'all did, that we were able to to meet Laura before she passed away and I'm really thankful for that that I had that opportunity and let me see sorry sorry to make this all depressing but I'm thankful for that I'm thankful for my wife because without my wife there wouldn't be any of this and all her patience and, and support and everything She's not really directly into knives, but she's really supportive and acts excited when I show her stuff. So that's pretty cool. 
All right, I think that's it. If y'all want to say something you're thankful for, I'm thankful for the more authority you can't find my ISP. <laughs> that's a good one. That's something to be thankful for, for sure. Yeah. That doc just gave Chad admin. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Way to go, doc. <laughs> All right. Hey, Steve, welcome. Good to see you, Steve. All right. Thank you, too. Appreciate it. Yeah, Mrs. Slash is awesome. She's awesome. Hey, let me see if I can get her to turn off her show for a second and say happy thanks to you. Hey! Can you say happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving! All right, there we go. Happy Thanksgiving for Mrs. Slash. She's trying to be quiet and not interrupt the magnitude of the show. Like I said, it's always really supportive. It doesn't mind the the choo-choo train of knives that's coming in on a daily basis just about to review and stuff. I sure wish Doc would show up and get here. Where is Doc? <laughs> Let me see if I can... Is he here and I'm just not paying attention? Oh, that's really cool. That's, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, Pete. That's exactly right. That's how I feel. It, 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 it's just been really cool connecting with people. Do you mean life with Laura? Michelle, I don't... Did I miss that? I missed something. I don't know what she's talking about, Sue. Life with Laura Michaels. What is that? Yes, I'm thankful for my new mic. Yes, yeah, thank you, Rick. Richard. Thank you, for Richard, for the new mic. It's awesome. It makes me feel official. Gives me this neat voice. Today in the news, if you can just see it, it's right here. You can't see it. It's like, so here it is. Boop, right there. Boop, I touched it. Boop, there it is. So it's right there, just right out of camera way. You've seen my socks. No, I have not seen your socks. Maybe Mike Lum has them. News guys. Chad just developed leukemia. He contracted the Uh <laughs> What blade will I be cutting turkey with? Ooh, good question. I think... I'm, I don't know where it's at. I'm thinking about taking, we're going to a friend's house. I'm thinking about taking my Tree of Liberty monster chopper. But it might be too big. What do you think? It might have to go a little bit smaller. I want to do something fun, but I got to have a good slice. Oh, oh that's what I'll take. I'm going to take that Bark River uh, buoy monster thing. The super slicey one. Thankful for my beautiful wife and thankful God. That's a good one, Peter. Peter B. Excellent. That's perfect. Yeah, I I need to buy them lots of stuff for sure, especially after Christmas. They're going to keep driving by my house. Thank you, Tojo. Appreciate the stuffing. There, That's right, JCB. My wife's like, oh, you like carbon fiber that's wonderful so yeah el chapo oh i could do el chapo for something for sure find something for that the cold steel voyager that might work i always worry about getting all the goo and gunk out of the thing i'd have to probably take it apart wouldn't i but the, yeah you're right it's a good choice for sure as far as the kind of slicer you'd need el chede yeah, that's what I'm going to take, I think. that. What is that? I always forget the name of that thing. Yeah. The Bark River Machete. There you go, Steve. They can't get you, sir. The stuff you've been through is crazy. So definitely. Be thankful for that, definitely. 
We are delaying Thanksgiving until Sunday because in Canada, so American Thanksgiving is not a holiday. No, I make sense. We could still have turkey, though. And, you know, tip your drumstick to the to the south. Kill the pig with the Voyager. Don't have to take apart the queen. Okay. <laughs> I remember that chat. I remember you doing that. I mean, I wasn't there, but I remember when you did it. Hey, George, welcome. Can't it was in the six feet back class. <laughs> oh, the you're crazy. Yeah, they're trying to get you, Steve, but you're keeping them off. That's awesome. Hey, Joseph, thank you for showing up. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, have a great day. You have a great day with your family. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, is it the, the silent soldier? Is that the folder or is that the, the fixed blade? One of, which one did you get? Carbon without Chetty. So which one? Yeah, exactly. That's going to be it. Would you like bone chips with that? Oh, yeah, dressing. Hmm, that sounds good. Oh, smoking pork and beef ribs. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to smoke my turkey, so. But pork and beef ribs. That would be delicious. Ooh, that sounds awesome, Pete. That sounds great. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take it to my buddy's house. It's been uh, brining for the last two days, and so it's stuck in the refrigerator in a a deep mandarin orange herbal bath for two days, soaking up flavors and whatnot. So. <clears throat> He likes it now that he oiled it. An import folder. Oh, okay, cool. That was one of the knives I always wanted. When I first started getting into collecting, I saw that early on. And it's always been stuck in my head that I, well, I want one of those. And then browse kind of went a little bit sideways there, so but I still it still interests me for sure. I, I don't know, just one of those things that's kind of cool. You kind of get stuck in your craw until you get it, I guess. Son-in-law's making smoked turkey and ham. That's awesome. My family has no idea how to cook. <laughs> yeah. My brother is up in South Dakota, and he makes... I want to say he makes 100. Maybe, maybe it's less than 100. Maybe it's 50. But he makes a ton of hams every year for Thanksgiving. And, and Christmas, too and just makes a bunch of money selling hams and, and stuff. You've always been that way. Super industrious and entrepreneurial. Brining is a great way to prevent dry turkey. Okay, yeah, yeah, and get a little bit of flavor in there. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I did a turkey last year. It worked out pretty good. The, bat, the worst thing about smoking the turkey is spatchcocking that thing. I need some shears, some good shears. I have them around here somewhere. I was the teacher for the pieces third grade three times. <laughs> That's messed up, Bruce. <laughs> ah, three times. Wandering here. Plus, I work retail, so we stuck. On Thanksgiving? Where are you working on Thanksgiving? That's not cool. Mr. Turkey was. Hey, Mark, welcome. Oh yeah, deep fried turkey. My brother made one of those. Those are delicious. Yeah, but they're dangerous. A lot of people stick them frozen into the hot grease and just explosions everywhere. Lobster bisque. Yeah, it's good stuff. Alright. I think I'm caught up here. Oh, Walmart. Dang, damn it. Well, I'm sorry, Wandering Bear. Sorry I had to work on Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. But terrible on Friday. I feel bad for you. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, working on Thanksgiving is pretty rough. Most places are closed except gas stations. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a good idea for sure. Oh, great. Thanks for showing up, Luis. I'm always interested to hear which class somebody was in of yours <laughs> and who taught it for sure. Oh, jerky, jerky. Oh, you know what? All right, I'm going to make most of y'all jealous. Only made like a little batch of jerky, and this is going out. This is... Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's going out to somebody. I can't say who, but it, unfortunately, it's probably not you. And not to be rude, but I got to... I didn't have as much meat, so I'm going to get a bunch of meat together. But it, it's in the works. I got all my trays clean. I got about 20 trays. Two, two dehydrators, and I'll knock it out, and I'll send it out to the people that wanted some. What's up, Richard? <clears throat> yeah, Friday's a good day for sleeping, for sure. I haven't seen the Ozark Knives this year, Wandering Bear. I know... A lot of people had shown them. I didn't. What's so disappointing about them? I didn't. I didn't see the disappointment in them. I just haven't seen them. Period. So. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to read. I gotta remember to read out loud, or it makes dead air. If you start wandering your hearts, jerky. Oh, my dad makes this smoked salmon. It's kind of like fish jerky. It's pretty awesome. Hey, Gray Man, welcome. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Had me a jerky. <clears throat> yeah, I saw the ones that, that Bird and them showed, and they, they seemed all right to me. I don't know. I'll have to check some more out. i got to run to Walmart here in a little bit and probably get a smoker got 50 pounds of deer in the freezer left oh oh some of this was deer jerky oh it was so good and it had just the, the, the guy that made the, the prepared the venison did it so it wasn't it was like the least gamey deer I've ever eaten that he did but it still had just enough of a difference in flavor that made the jerky just so yummy so yeah, I'm hoping to grab some more from him tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> oh, they jacked up the price. Well, that's messed up. Well, it happens though. Still, you know, just one dollar more. That's not too bad. My wife said she's deserves for what she's going through. Okay, yeah, just I got to. Hey, Jet Fuel, welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Woohoo! Yeah, I'll be making a bunch of jerky this weekend and getting piff boxes going. It's going to be a busy weekend for getting stuff out for sure. Happy Thanksgiving, Jeremy. Welcome. Or thank you. Going out Friday to see if we can get one more. Yeah, that'd be cool, Pete. Get another one. Get the jerky going. That would be awesome. What do you take to Walmart for a free Thanksgiving smoker? Oh, there you go. Yeah. You'll find out. You'll find out in the morning for sure. I'm thinking something that's like humongous. Maybe I'll take the XL Espada. Tape it to my leg. I'm starting my own YouTube channel. It's supposed to be videos of me tanning the aircraft. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh... See you later, Christopher. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, we'll enjoy the food coma. Thank you. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh. Black Friday night sales. I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of them. I don't know the specifics on them right now, but I, would, I imagine there's going to be a bunch. 
Oh, you didn't miss much. You just kind of went through a couple things. I was talking about the Piffle and what's going to happen this weekend on the Demco Piffle. And that's going to start on Saturday. It's got to knock out the finer details and I'll make a video on it. And y'all will be able to start getting slots on Saturday. So we went over that and then we went over some stuff that came in the mail to me today. Here, I'll show you the most exciting thing that came today. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like a simple flashlight, but it's actually a painful death dealer. It's a stun gun. It even says that, stun gun. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. So I have to read the instructions like I was saying. I'm super scared to turn it on. It singe the ends of my beard hairs. Oh, Blitz, I just got a T1. Yeah, the T1 is awesome. I had to get one at that price. The price on Blade HQ of the T1 was crazy. That was a great deal. I've been looking for a secondary market one at about, just telling myself, if you see one $20 cheaper than that, grab one. So brand new, I had to get that. I've been waiting to get one. Another one. I had one and I gave it to a buddy of mine. I think he gave it to a buddy of mine. Yeah. For, for a birthday, so yeah. Yeah, Magic Smoky Mountain is going to have some awesome stuff going on. The new Kubi Blade, the one I have is awesome. Are you talking about the carbon fiber one? The I haven't run into any Kubis that are terribly disappointing. I've I would like, and I know it sounds like I'm trying to sell them to you guys, and I'm not. There's really no, I have no benefit of of getting y'all to buy more Kubis. I don't have any links or anything like that, or special buttons where my name comes up. I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to get y'all some decent knives. And I'm trying to think right now which Kubi I have that I don't like. And just for the prices, I like them all. It's been a, it's, it's been a cool experience getting some good bent, uh, budget knives in oh yeah okay edward i didn't know if i was supposed to say anything but edward's the one that's in the goodie box edward and his awesome wife that yeah they're the one that sent in edward and, and norma sent this in so i didn't want to say anything edward just in case but yeah they're the ones I did. I showed all the stuff. This is the one I'm keeping. They said I could keep one. He said, I hope I read that right, because if not, I'm going to be terribly sad. But this is the one I wanted. So I'll be sending some stuff like that out for sure. All right, thank you. Yeah, and I got my Hulk thing up there with my other two Hulks. My other three. Well, I got four Hulks now. So that makes five Hulks on my desk. I'd show them to you, but they're all dusty, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, the Freeman's awesome. Four knives candy. What did you get, Marshall? Four knives. It's awesome. All right. Let's see. Nope, I'm just reading to myself again. Okay. All right, I think that's going to be it. I don't keep you guys too long. I got to help. Got to help the little woman make some cakes and stuff. Like I said, be, be on the lookout for the piffle. And we'll get that going for sure this weekend. So there'll be something good coming up this weekend. I don't think I'll be showing up to anything tomorrow. I'll be out of town tomorrow, so I won't have anything, any videos. I might do another video tonight and post it. But it all depends on what I get done here. Yeah, George, the Kubis are awesome. Two case, one Fox, and a Beretta. Oh, I've been wanting one of those Mazarins. Mazarins? Mazarins? I've been wanting one of those. They make, are they the ones that make the police one? The, is it Maser and Police that that I'm thinking about? Okay, I'll hang on a minute. I'm going to hang on a minute for Edward. I'm not going anywhere. 
I'll stick around. All right, good night, Wandering Bear. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Blitz. Yeah, I'll see some, yeah, let's see some pictures there. Way to go, Edward. Let me see. I don't think I have anything else to... Hey, you know what? Hey. How about if y'all want a sticker and you're on the show and you're on the, the live chat, send me an email and I'll send you guys a sticker. Does that sound okay? Hey, Norma, thank you for showing up. Thank you for my box. That was awesome. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the letter. This is the one I decided to keep. I don't know if you saw it already. I'm keeping Donald Duck, giving out the alien. I haven't turned on the stun gun yet. I'm super scared that they're going to find me in a corner twitching and not be able to move me. But I'm also kind of intrigued that it might give me superpower. So I don't know if I'm going to roll the dice on that one. I have one sword, Steve. It's a cane sword. So I don't know. I haven't been able to use it yet. I was going to start taking it walking with me. Because there's some dogs that just roam the neighborhood. No, I loved it, Nora. I really appreciate it. And I got my, my Hulk pencil. And he lives with my Hulk figurines on my desk as a my desk reminder that I haven't grown up yet with my 40 toys on my desk. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> to be the, there can be only one, Steve. Yeah, definitely. It'll turn you into the Highlander for sure. Yeah, so if you guys want a, a sticker, I know I got some of y'all some stickers already. But if y'all want a sticker, send me an email and I'll get the list going. I'm just going to make it tonight. So if you're sending me stuff tomorrow, and it, I'm just going to write up the list tonight so I can get them out on Friday. I'm not trying to be mean. It just kind of helps keep it all compressed. So if you want a sticker, send me, a, send me an email and I'll get that list together and stick a stamp on an envelope and send y'all out one. foresee much belayed blood. Don't do it. <clears throat> Don't attack the, the dog with a sword. Well, how about the cane? Can I hit him with the cane part? I'm just worried about getting bit. Big scary dogs. My, I guess I could use some bear spray. My mom used some bear spray on one. You're welcome. Thank you for all your... Oh, you're welcome, Norma. Always welcome. Super welcome. Get a Viking axe. I have that Viax, that Viking axe from from Tops. I could carry that. Yeah, I have a bunch of them up here, but it's kind of embarrassing. So yeah. All right, cool, Jeremy. That's awesome. Blackwood, send me an email. Your group, excellent, Luis. Luis, having a good time. <laughs> Fantastic. The cane is fine. The cane will work better than the sword. I don't know. If I'd have had that stun gun the other day, I might have... I might have had to stun that dog that stuck his head in my door. But then his, his owners probably would have got me. I like trolls. Old school trolls. Huh. Are you talking about the crazy haired ones? The crazy haired trolls? The little ones with the gems in their belly button? Is, didn't they used to have gems in their belly button? Wait, Blackwood, you live in Canada. I don't know. I have to see what it's going to cost to send a sticker to Canada. I see what you're trying to do there, sir. I see. 
sneaking sneaking me into saying something. <clears throat> Let's find out what's it cost. Because if it's going to cost me a bunch of money, I don't know. Those Canadians and their sneakiness. What about a message on... No, I... No, you got to send me an email just so I can keep them all together. Angie, I appreciate the messages and whatnot, but I, what I usually do is just go and kind of info dump onto a on a Windows, like a Word document at the same time so I'm not searching on Instagram and Facebook and other places. Oh, Steve, I don't want to stun a person. I mean, unless they're trying to get in the house or something. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't even want to hurt the animal unless he's trying to hurt me. So, but I think Luis really came towards lab partner in freshman chemistry. Yeah, it's $70 to send this ticker to Canada, and then they're going to keep it at the border. So, yeah. Couldn't have a shit to friends in the U.S. I'm getting a bunch of nice men. Yeah, okay, that's cool, Blackwood. Just send me their email or their address, and I'll send it to them. And we'll go from there. Did you not get your sticker, Chad? Damn, damn it. I thought I'd, I'd get you two stickers since I didn't send you one last time. Sorry about that. And if, if I ever say that I owe you something or I'm going to give you something, like a knife or something, I like get behind, just drop me an email. I mean, don't do it on the hour, but hey, we're just, you know, give me about a week to forget and then, then send me an email if you wouldn't mind and I will get it to you I'm just kind of scatterbrained this time of year as far as forgetting stuff don't stun poor pit bulls I wouldn't do it to be mean he stuck his head in my door and there was two of them All right, you guys will love your stickers on mine. Oh, and there's more stickers coming out. I'm not going to show them to you, not yet, but there's a couple more stickers that I haven't made. I hope you all like those as well. Let's see. All right, I think that's about it. Marshall, I hope your stickers on the way. I don't remember. I had a long list of sticker people. If not, just say that I owe you two stickers in your email if you send me one today. And I'll stick an extra one in there. Because that's upsetting. I keep forgetting people. A Chris Reeves knife. Now see, that's not true. I know that's not true because I don't have a Chris Reeves knife to give. Now if you said you, said you were going to buy me one, that would have been different. But since I don't have one, I know you're telling me fibs. All right, let's see. Good night, Newport Beach. To... That's right. Thank you, Dark Continent. Just email me, Jimmy slash YouTube at yahoo.com, to say, hey, I was on the live chat. I'd like a sticker. And send me your address, and I'll get it in the mail sometime this week. All righty. Okie doke. I think that's it for now. If y'all have any extra questions after this, or you want to talk or anything, send me an email. Hit me up on Facebook. I should be up for a while. I have no problem with that. Just got to get going and start cooking some stuff. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> Marshall. We'll have to talk about that. <laughs> All right, MJ. Good night. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving, sir. All right, everybody. I'm getting out of here. Happy Thanksgiving, really. Thanks for making this a really cool year. I'm really thankful for all y'all. I'm thankful that I get to talk to you guys and you guys get to talk back and we'll have this chat. And I look forward. We'll do this Friday. We'll do numbers on Friday. Have a happy Thanksgiving, Angie. Thank you. Enjoy your, your excellent smoking. 
ribs and pork. I'm very jealous. That sounds delicious. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. In Canada, have a happy Thursday. But I will talk to y'all later, and thank you again.